Today's story is about a scientist whom his works were behind the discovery of the electromagnetic waves and hence the evolve of communication technology. A scientist who experimentally proved the prediction of the great mathematician James Clerk Maxwell about the EM waves and was the first to correctly understand their nature. In recognition of his achievements the unit of frequency was named after him. We are talking about Heinrich Rudolf Hertz. Heinrich Hertz was born on the 22nd of January 1857 in Hamburg, Germany. He pursued his education at the University of Berlin under renowned scientists such as Hermann von Helmholtz and Gustav Kirchhoff. During that time, Hertz began to explore the fascinating world of electromagnetism, leaving an indelible impact on the field. In 1880, Hertz received his PhD from the University of Berlin and worked there as a postdoctoral research assistant. In 1883, he joined the University of Kiel as a lecturer in theoretical physics. He was promoted to full professor at the University of Karlsruhe in 1885. In 1886, Hertz designed and conducted a series of experiments using the Hertzian oscillator, a spark gap and a loop of wire, which led to the successful production and detection of electromagnetic waves. This experiment verified James Clerk Maxwell's theory of electromagnetic waves, changing our understanding of light forever. Hertz's experiments with the Hertzian oscillator also demonstrated the phenomenon of radio waves in 1887, establishing the basis for wireless communication technologies. In 1887, he discovered the photoelectric effect, a crucial phenomenon later explored in depth by Albert Einstein, laying the foundation for the development of quantum mechanics. In 1894, his book, a new presentation of the principles of mechanics was published. Hertz in his later life was assigned as a professor of physics and director of the Physics Institute in Bonn in 1889 and stayed in this position till his last days. He received widespread acclaim and accolades. He became a professor at the University of Karlsruhe in Germany and continued to push the boundaries of scientific knowledge. Hertz died in Bonn, Germany in 1894, at the young age of 36 as a result of a rare autoimmune disease. He was buried in Hamburg's Olsdorf graveyard. Despite his early passing, Hertz's contributions to science left an enduring legacy. Hertz's experiments not only verified Maxwell's theory of electromagnetic waves but also paved the way for the technological advancements we enjoy today. Hertz's dedication to scientific inquiry and his pioneering spirit continue to inspire generations of physicists and engineers. Join us next time as we delve into more captivating stories from history. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay updated. This is the Electricity and Magnetism channel and we will see on the next one.